to call and tell us uh, what it is that's on your mind, just dial the number 1300. Oh, goodness gracious me. Norman, you rang even before the program started today. You wanted to get in very early. No, no, John. I wait till they say the John Law's program because you're off so bloody often, you've got to make sure that you turn up. And for now, with your mate Marcus Paul gone, who's going to fill in for you when you take your days off now, John? Hey, with old Marcus gone, hey, what has he made way for your Gloria? Gloria, won't be long before Alan comes and joins you now. Now you got rid of old Marcus, hey? I'll I tell you what, you could come and join me. Norman, you could be, you'd be a terrific fill-in on the program. The old scapegoat Marcus, hey, made way, get a little bit more extra money for Alan, hey? You won't you be jealous then, John, hey? When... Why, why, I, I don't understand why, it's, why are you talking about Alan? Alan's not here. Oh, when he does fill in, when he gets to, oh, come on, John, you know... Marcus Paul's been given the boots of Alan to move into breakfast, hey? I, I know nothing about the, the, the operations of the radio station behind the scenes. I have no idea why Marcus Paul Buying went. Be quiet. Be, be quiet. Be quiet, you rude little bugger. I have no idea why Marcus Paul went. Nothing to do with me. I'm not in management. Yeah, you're lying again. Because wait till you... I don't tell me I'm lying, you little jerk. Don't you tell me I'm lying because I'm not. I don't. Wait till you see Alan's pay packet, John, Hey, Oh, you'll be jealous then, won't you, Hey, When Gloria... You don't really think that if Alan was to come here, he would be paid more than me? Oh, of course he would. You don't really think that. Oh, listen, for poor Alan, he dropped out of the top hundred of the most influential people, the power people. He'll be scrambling to get onto something, onto some radio station. And where were you, John? You weren't in the top 100. You wouldn't be in the top 10,000 anymore. No, I wouldn't want to be. I don't want to be. I don't want to be described like that. Poor old Johnny, eh? Oh, God, you're a little fool. Hey. You really are a grub, Norman. I, are you jealous too, John? What about... No, I'm not jealous. What about... That's one thing I'm not. Clive's got his shit pumped. But, but, but hang on. No. But when you say, am I jealous too, jealous of what? Oh, you're just... You're... Jealous of Alan's pay packet when he replaces bloody old Marcus Paul at breakfast. And then Clive, he's got his ship parked opposite the opera house. Where's your boat, John? I'll tell you what, you seem to know hey. uh, more about the pay packets around here than I do. Oh, come on, John, you're jealous. Yeah. What? You've never had your boat moored across the house from the opera house, have you? Hey, you just pull that out there on New Year's Eve, I'll probably sit back there with all your friends. But not a, not a lot of shit like Clive. You must be going, oh, no. Well, 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 uh, ex excuse me a minute. Why? Excuse me a minute, Norman. Uh, could you tell me where is my boat? I don't know, John. You tell oh, me. Oh, really? You don't know? You seem to know everything else. It's probably moored outside your, you know, your little plate there on the harbour, you know, opposite, you know, where the, we're watching the ships come in from the Navy, how they get in your way, I don't know, all that sort of stuff. Hey, hey John? Hey, it's down there, is it? Why don't you move it up opposite the opera house and park it next to Clyde's, eh? I'll, t I'll tell you what, you know too much, Norman. You... You're, you're invading my privacy. Oh, John, your privacy. You oh, you... <laughs> when... You're a creepy, you're a creepy jerk, Norman, that's what you are. Get, when you get your mother superior to pull all your, you know, to, to do an article for you in a... In a magazine or something. Oh, where's your privacy then, John? Oh, we are fearful. Well, what are you talking about, the Mother Superior? Oh, you know, when she organises some publicity stunt, you know, or, or an article about you so that people know that you haven't died, you know. Uh, I tell you what, the Mother Superior d doesn't uh, doesn't organise anything for me in the press. Nothing at all. Uh, oh, what a lot of... She does everything else for you. Bloody hell. What, what do you mean she does everything else for me? Oh, uh, you know... Papers, you bloody get you, you know, your old walking frame out, you know, and help you over there. Hey, you better, you better be held to the same old standard of Marcus, mate, because if you're not held to the same, when you make your gaps and all your little mistakes on the air, calling women and all that stuff, hey, you should be held to the same standard. that you get the boot, that's bloody called the black hot of pebbles. Hey, you get, should get. Go. What about your mate Kyle? He's having a baby. Your mate, you won't you get him on the phone? Hey, that poor woman that had to have his baby. Oh, my God. 
See, I know she gave aren't you, me. Aren't you unpleasant? Oh, listen, listen, listen. I, I don't... It's uh, made a hell of a lot to have his baby. Anyway, we can be very grateful that she's not having you. Some poor other woman has already blessed us with your presence. Oh, you're, you know, you're just jealous, John, eh? Hey, hey, jealous. No, look, you're just a horrible person, Norman. You really are. And you make, and nobody likes you, Norman. That's probably one of the reasons I, I, that you're such a bitter little bastard. Oh, nobody likes you either, John. No, no, I'm aware of that because you tell me every time you ring. I know. But, but, but you're wrong. Oh, no, but you're wrong. It's unfair to say that people don't like me. The Mother Superior likes me. Yeah, the yeah. Commander-in-Chief likes me. Oh, yes. Yeah. The, the girls like me. The Mother Superior the is getting paid by you. My God! You, you, you fake your friendship just to get paid. But why, why, what, if you believe I pay her, why would I pay her? You're getting paid because she, she does everything for you, John. Oh, it's your little oh, handmaid, is this? Oh, look, handmaid. you really are. I get tired of it, Norman, after a while. All, but, your, all, your, all your friends are getting paid. That's why, John. And all the other friends are dead. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, they're all dropping off the perch, aren't they? You haven't got many left, have you now, John? Hey, they're all dying, like you will be soon. And when you, Alan, get... Oh, yeah, look, uh, enough's enough, Norman. I mean, you've had a fair run. I don't know how long I've talked to you, but it's been too long. You, you're just a, a piece of work. You're just an unpleasant human being. My God. I don't know how you can live with yourself. I really don't know, and I'm serious when I say that. I don't know how you can live with yourself because you must wake up every morning and say, what bitter, twisted attitude can I engender in my character today? How awful can I be today? And you, you do it pretty well. You're bloody awful. That's what you are. We just know how jealous you are, John. Jealous of you? Uh, don't yeah, worry. Jealous of you? You've got to be kidding. Hey, we're you and you. Hey, John, why don't you go for a swim? Go, go, go take an ocean swim, John. The shark might be still around. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha, ha. Bye, ha, ha. You're mad. He's mad. He's, he's got to be mad, you know, that's that's uh, demented stuff. OK, well, that's the end of Norman for a while. one three hundred five six four six five two. 564 Yeah, but what a, what a waste of energy to get himself all cranked up and wound up about that and be so vitriolic and so bitter and so twisted and so... Nah, nah, nah. What a way to live your life, huh? What a way to live your life.